Hey, happy homebrew Wednesday. Um, Wednesday morning right now. Don't know if I'll get this up online uh, quick enough though, but we'll see. We'll try. Um, yeah, just got into work. Bloody cold outside. Um, wow. About as cold as Nelson in New Zealand can get. I think it was probably about negative one overnight, something like that. So enough to freeze. Um, but yeah, anyway, so um, Black IPA is going well, um, has been bubbling away nicely, then it stopped, and then it basically just, basically just crash cooled itself down to about 14 degrees. Um, it's just been too cold, haven't been able to keep it warm enough. Um, but that's cool, we live and we learn. Um, at least the yeast isn't dying or doing any weird flavours. Uh, so that's cool, we'll just, we'll just bring that up towards the end of the fermentation, I think, and... Um, just see if we can squeeze any more um, alcohol out of it before we bottle it. So um, that's actually happening this weekend. I'm going to be bottling it, so um, better start warming it up, I think. Um, what else we got? Um, well, we had a bit of snow on the mountains, and I'll show you a picture of that now. Um, that was down to about six or 700 metres, so um, pretty cool for Nelson. We don't really get a lot of snow here, um, so that was pretty neat. Um, I'd like to go up and see the snow sometime, that'd be cool. Um, I've also had just tons of crap weather lately, eh? Um, like check out this picture here, which is um, of a um, rainbow over work. Um, just walking back to work from my lunch break, and boom, there it was, you know. I was like, whoa, okay, take a photo of that. Crazy colours, real uh, vivid. Um, <clears throat> got some... Um, got some sausages lately, actually. Um, a, a workmate, he uh, has a friend uh, who does some hunting and he um, he makes up the meat. So um, yeah, got some pork sausages and uh, some beef sausages. So that was pretty cool. I'll show you a picture of it now. They're actually um, man, that they're, they're really fatty. <laughs> I, I cooked up about and I was probably maybe ten sausages and um, like a cup of fat just came out of them. But that's cool. They cook themselves, so um, no worries. And um, they were really good reheated too. So um, it's always good. Um, yeah, oh, I've actually done up a video for this week um, about my glassware, uh, and I also did up a video about some stuff I got from Benin. Uh, I forgot to film the uh, bottle brush that I got, um, but anyway, I'll, I'll show you the Benin stuff now. So for my birthday I got um, a couple $20 vouchers um, for the local Benin store, and they just sell all sorts of like bulk supplies like sugar and um, spices and flour, and uh, they sell quite a lot of homebrew supplies as well. Um, so here's what I got here. Um, I got three kgs of uh, light liquid malt extract, so I just put that into a um, three litre tub, ice cream tub, and uh, perfect, came out about $20, so that was alright. And uh, I got um, some various finings packets, um, some yeast, and more yeast. I actually got um, two sort of generic beer yeasts and a red wine or fruit wine yeast. So I could probably use that for something at some stage. It'd be good to just have lying around, then we can just do brews if we need to. And uh, yeah, just, just a general uh, beer findings really. Um, can't remember what's in it collagen or something like that. So yeah, that's what we got today. Um, so we just put that away and um, we use it at the next house. Cool. So yeah, pretty neat stuff. Stuff to add to the uh, Brewing Wears collection. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll show you the glassware video now as well. Hey. Just while we're doing some packing for the house, um, well, for moving, I uh, just sort of thought, well, I might as well do my beer glasses. Um, I've got a fair collection, probably not as many as some of you guys have, but um, yeah, still feels like quite a lot, and I've got to figure out how to pack them all the way nice and safely. Uh, some of the um, uh, some of the glassware is pretty solid, real thick, but some of it's just like so thin, real brittle stuff. Um, I've, I've, had, I've had several smash in the dishwasher, that sort of stuff, but um, anyway, here it is. So, we've got our Society of Beer Advocates Nonic glass there. Got another one there, and uh, I believe I've got another one in the dishwasher actually, so that's, that's those guys there. 
um, got sort of a snifter thing. I got that from our old building at work. Um, it was unsafe and unfit in the event of an earthquake, so we moved out of that building and um, yeah, these were just sitting up, um, really up high on a shelf, and I said, oh, well, I'm going to take those if it's right, and um, yeah, no one no one kicked a stink or protested, so um, yeah, I've got about 10, 11, 12 of those. Um, I think they're for like sipping brandy and stuff. Uh, this guy has a little story as well. Well, we were pretty pissed in town one night, and uh, we were going clubbing actually, <laughs> a long time ago, and uh, this was just sitting outside a bar. Uh, well, actually down the street from the bar as well, so I claimed it. Um, <laughs> honest Matt. Um, uh, what have we got here? This is quite a big mug. Real nice, solid. Real good thing. Um, picked this up at the um, flea market here in Nelson. Uh, and I believe that cost me 50 cents. And it is just mint condition. Real nice, big, solid, heavy-duty cup. So that's that guy. The old 18th birthday mug. Another solid cup there. Real good one, this one. I uh, used to drink a lot of um, my earlier uh, craft beer out of this stuff. Uh, not my homebrew, but when I was actually getting into craft beer, that's what I was drinking it out of. So that's pretty cool. And the old genuine 21 years of age cup, another solid guy, and I'd also drink quite a lot of um, early days craft beer out of this guy too, um, good times with that cup, that's for sure. Um, I think the same time, yep, same time I actually got this one, so it's another uh, 21st uh, present uh, from my grandparents, this one I believe. Uh, and it's kind of in the style of like a, um, what do you call them, I can't remember the name, St Stein is it? Yeah, I think it's Stein, kind of in the style of a Stein, just doesn't have the, the lid. Uh, really cool cup, um, I don't drink a lot of beer at it, because it, it's a really, um, it's quite a foamer. Uh, it's got kind of a, uh, not coarse, but um, kind of a slightly textured inside and um, I've had Coca-Cola in that and it just goes foam just flies out of it so um, that one's kind of more of a sort of on the shelf sort of trophy but um, real nice cut nonetheless so uh, I've um, got this one as a um, uh, was a Christmas present recently, uh, so it's the uh, DB branded export dry uh, cup. So yeah, not bad. I've, I've used that for a few beer reviews. Good cup. Good for pilsners and things like that. Um, same with this one. Got this one from the first March Fest I attended, which I believe was March Fest of 2011. Yep, no, I think that's about right. Um, and uh, yeah, this guy served me well. Got through a lot of different beers. Um, and funny enough, the uh, label's still there, so uh, pretty cool. Good old March Fest day. Eh? Uh, two more March Fest cups. Uh, this one, I think this one... Yeah, this one was March Fest 2012. Um, so that was... Uh, it's pretty much the same as the 2013 one actually, except the 2013 one's got a pink label on it. Uh, I believe it's pretty much the same, yes, same style cut. And they sort of went on about it in their magazine and stuff and said that it was um, good for at least a hundred dishwashers and um, yeah, fair enough, I mean, it's still going, so um, yep. Real solid cup slows, so uh, yeah. Uh, this one, I think it was about three dollars from the warehouse. We were just walking around the warehouse one day, um, which is kind of like a um, whew, kind of like a general store supermarkety sort of thing. Just sell like all sorts of household products, appliances, uh, food, um, toys, all sorts of stuff. 
And uh, yeah, this was just in the bargain bin, got it for three bucks because the um, packet was open. Um, I think one was missing and I didn't really care. It was quite a nice cup. So uh, yeah, I've done plenty of um, drinking out of that guy. Real good one. Um, Dale's Brewing Company. Classic beers, Kiwi style. This is a really nice piece of glassware. Looks brittle, but it's solid as hell. Real good cup. Um, drank a lot of beers out of this one. Uh, the story behind this one is that I won it by getting... What was it? First place for my Black IPA. And uh, yeah, this was one of the prizes, so um, it was well received. Really good cup. Like that one a lot. Um, again, back to the early days. Um, these cups here, uh, four of them actually. I had six, but they are quite brittle and um, they're very, very thin around the top there and they easily smash. So, um, yeah, these are the ones I've got to take care of. But um, I think I got these as a um, Christmas present back in the day as well. Uh, really nice to drink out of. Um, good for any style, really. Um, quite a nice cup. So, um, that's about it for my uh, beer cup collection. Um, and I was thinking, geez, what am I going to drink beer out of while that's all packed away? And I sort of thought, well, I've got flip loads of other cups in here, and um, you know, something like that's probably not a big deal. You know, just a sort of a water glass cup, but um, it has a nice feel to it, and um, yeah, I don't know, we'll drink beers out of that for a while. Wow. Should only be a few weeks, uh, you know, a month max, so not a big deal. But uh, there you have it, cups. Woohoo! So um, yeah, happy homebrew Wednesday, guys, and we'll we'll catch you later. Cheers.